Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to show you a website called God Mode. I know that's a strange name, but in particular, it uses AutoGPT or a version of AutoGPT that is currently, this technology is taking the internet by storm right now. And essentially, it's kind of like creating your own AI agent that does some of its thinking or some thinking for you. It allows you to chain together tasks where traditionally you would have to type in every single thing you want, you know, the AI to do. Well, now it can do thinking for you. So let me give you an example. So we're going to go to godmode.space. And here's an example. I wanted to explore the possibility that aliens are on their way to Earth. And I'm using that topic because I saw a YouTube video about it. So what I've done is I typed it in, I hit enter, and then look at what it did for me. It provides all the thoughts, it's reasoning, it proposes actions, it allows you to give feedback. So when I click on this, I, I the first thing it did is it says it's going to do a search for evidence of extraterrestrial activity on NASA's website. Then it searched Google for scientific research papers. Then it read the contents of a file named file.txt. Then it wrote a list of source of top sources on extraterrestrial life to a file named references.txt. So it's basically writing it down and taking notes for us. And then it searched for information on extraterrestrial visits to Earth using Google. Read an article on New Yorker website. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Retrieved key points from the website. Uh, did some more searches. Then it performed a bunch of different crazy actions. If you click on them, if you click on the actual task, it will show you exactly what the result was. So the result for this one was the text states that there is no information provided about discovery of extraterrestrial activity on NASA's website. Of course not. And then, of course, they would. Then you click on the next task, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and type that in here, and then we're gonna walk, and we're gonna go slowly through a first few steps, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click explore the possibility, click launch. Okay, when you do that, it's now gonna give you a couple of ideas to run with. So here we go. The first thing I will note is you can write in whatever you want. So if you wanted to do something, uh, you just go ahead and write it in. But we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, given prompts and ideas from God mode. So the first one is conduct a com comprehensive review of all the available data. Okay, that sounds good. Analyze patterns and astronom astronomical data to identify. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Develop a plan for communicating with any potential alien visitors. Hell yeah, we're going to talk to them. We're going to go through them, we're going to select them, and then we're going to go ahead and click launch. When you do that, as I showed you on the other screen, you're going to see under the tasks here that it has set up those three tasks. And then it's going to start going ahead and giving us suggestions and automating this to some degree. And, and then we can go ahead and look at it. Okay, so the first step is done. And the first thing it wants to do is it, it gave us our thoughts. So it's conducting a review of all available data on potential alien sightings or encounters. That makes sense. The reasoning for what they're doing. So it's not that it's just taking action. It explains why it's doing it the way it's doing is there are aliens on the way to Earth is to gather as much info as possible about previous sightings or encounters. This makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and approve this plan and then we're going to see what it suggests next time. All right, so it's completed the first step here and here's its thoughts. I need to save the information I found in a file for future reference. I like it. Here's the reasoning. So, you know, they want to I guess basically have the review of all the data on a particular in one file makes sense. This is the proposed action. It's going to write to file. It's using Python, I believe, to do this. And then we can go ahead and approve it. Now, while I click on that approval, the step that we just executed, which was search for information, I can click on this. And you'll see here that this is the task result. So it's given us exactly what it did, what websites it went to. Here's the website, for example. If I wanted to go to it, I could just go ahead and copy and paste that in and put that in my browser. And then it just gives you the exact steps and the results that happen. So here's the next one here. It went and read the relevant articles. It wrote the relevant articles. So it wrote it to file written to successfully. So it wrote to the file. Now it wants to analyze the patterns and astronomical, astronomical data, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. So this is how you use AutoGPT for free. Godmode.space. Links in the description below. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried it out. Thanks for watching.